Ethiopia were dragged out of their homes, beaten, paraded, humiliated, and killed. <laughs> Over 230 people in the Oromia region of Ethiopia were dragged out of their homes, beaten, paraded, humiliated, and killed. Almost, uh, almost exact figure. What happened, you ask? On June 29th, 2020, Hajalu Hundesa, a noted Ethiopian performing artist and a political activist, was shot to death in his car in Ethiopia's capital city, Addis Ababa. He was a prominent figure in the Oromo community who used his music to advocate for political change. When news of Achalu's death broke, some political activists accused the Neftenyas, a pejorative term to describe those of Amara's descent and Orthodox Christians living in the Oromia region of Ethiopia. Of the assassination and called for the murder and expulsion of non-Oromos from the region. Certain prominent extremists, Oromo nationalists from academia, politics, and the media joined in calling for revenge, killing, and ethnic cleansing, and broadcast this over social media and the airwaves. Kill Amaran people! Kill! Kill Ornaftanya! Kill Tigray! All, all, all! Responding to these calls, violent elements within the Oromia region began a campaign of terror in which they targeted Amharas and Orthodox Christians and went after other non-Oromo residents of the region, killing them and destroying properties. They also attacked any Oromos that tried to protect their non-Oromo neighbors, especially Christian Oromos. Oromo Orthodox Christians have been labeled Neftenya and are increasingly targeted for attacks in some parts of the Oromia region. Tragically, this latest incident follows another violent episode less than eight months earlier that resulted in the deaths of over 80 people with extremist mobs going on rampage, killing, maiming non oromo residents and destroying property, clearly showing the escalation and the range and severity of the attacks. <laughs> What is making each incident worse than the last is the increasingly organized nature of these attacks. Elements within the regional security and other governmental bodies reportedly turn a blind eye and actively encourage this violence. The federal government is in the aftermath of the last episode of bloodshed has arrested many officials of local and regional governments for complicity in these violent acts. The government shut down the internet in Ethiopia during this recent upheaval in an effort to stop the incitement from diaspora source that were calling for more violence against Neftanya and settlers in the Oromia region and to minimize news that could lead to reprisal elsewhere. This is what you should know. In the two weeks after Hachalu Ndesa's death, over 230 people lost their lives in modern-day lynchings. 
many women, men, children, elderly non-Oromos raped, beaten, mutilated, their throats cut, and burned. Thousands have been displaced from their homes and taken refuge in churchyards. Large towns have been gutted as the mob set fire to schools, businesses, and homes. Most of the people have lived in their towns for generations and have now been told they needed to leave. This is the very definition of ethnic cleansing. Oromia is the most diversely settled region in Ethiopia. There are over 10 million non-Oromo Ethiopians currently living in Oromia region and have lived there for centuries. We have seen this before in the country not far from Ethiopia. The world ignored the sign of impending genocide in Rwanda, and for that almost a million people died in 100 days. What we cannot stand for is the slaughter of human beings like cattle yet again. We cannot look the other way, nor should you. The dire situation does not have to end in further bloodshed. You can be the difference this time. Please write and call your congressional delegate or senator. Ask that they pressure governmental and non-governmental agencies to investigate mob violence in the Oromia region of Ethiopia. Demand that the government bring to justice all who perpetrated and were complicit in the killings. We can help stop this. Speak up, stand up, hashtag say no to ethnic violence. Together, we can be a voice for the voiceless. Take action, text Ethiopia to 810-346-1859.